Hey everybody, this is Lloyd with Just Got Played, and today we have another game unboxing, this time for Wonder Woman Challenge of the Amazons. This is by Ravensburger. Um, it is ages 10 and up, 2 to 5 players, and takes about 45 to 60 minutes. So let's go ahead and crack this open and see what we've got inside. Alright, let's take the top off and see what we've got inside. It's very cool. We've got some, as soon as you open it, some artwork of Wonder Woman. Okay. This looks like it's going to be the game board, right? So we've got some, on the back side we've got some full art. So if you wanted to hang this up for, you know, artwork, you could post it on the, on the wall. Then over here we've got the board. So you have a bunch of different spaces that are connected by roads. Um, well, we got like the enemy health and the Amazon defense on the side. All in all, this looks really nice. Got the Colosseum, the palace, the gardens, Temple of Athena. Overall, this all looks pretty solid. It's a nice thick board. Okay, we've got the uh, rule book. So we got instructions. Um, they advise you to start against Ares and learn how to play. So this goes over all the components. Um, you've got hero setup, Ares setup. Uh, then you've got a how to play. It goes over all the different round types um, or different sections of the round to get started around the strategizing together hero cards the basic actions the special actions um, teaming up battle begins taking actions end of the round defeating Ares. then it goes over relics and warriors and how those work um, and then it goes over the two other enemies in the game so um, this game does have three enemies in it Oh, and we got an appendix on the back, which is always helpful. We'll have all the keywords right there. Um, so there are three enemies. You have uh, Ares, the Cheetah, and Circe. Oh, and here we go. We can take a look at their uh, little cardboard standees. Okay. So these just pop out. Okay. So take a look. Uh, and then we have, oh, these are actually taped in there. That is different. So inside we've got the uh, player boards for uh, the three villains. So um, they look like they're double-sided. So one side is slightly easier than the other side. Okay, so you've got uh, Ares, the Cheetah, and Cersei. Okay, pretty cool. Then you've got uh, the different uh, player uh, So we've got um, Diana, Mala, Nubia, Artemis, and Philippus. So these are the different hero maps. Uh, and they all have a different uh, strategy phase action that they get to do. Okay, then we got these little uh, little minis, which are pretty cool because they are already kind of like bronze. Then they have like a black wash on them. Uh, we'll take a look at those in a minute. So we've got uh, standees for the the bad guy. Things. You've got some little orange cubes. Okay. You got some white cubes. You've got some green cubes. And some purple cubes. And I think these all go for different threats that are happening on the board. Then we've got a uh, pack of small cards. Alright, so let's take a look at what's inside of here. If I can get this open. There we go. So we've got, uh, I guess these are all hero cards, right? Okay. So there's just all kinds of stuff in here. Uh, so we've got like different relics. 
Um, and then you've got the actual cards. These are the cards that you're going to have in your hand, I guess. Uh, and they have like different uh, strengths and abilities on them. So they, they give you different resources. Um, so yeah. It's very pretty artwork. It's very nice artwork. So let's put the hero deck back there. And this giant deck here. These look like they're going to be the different uh, enemy cards. All right. So you got a deck for Cersei. You got a deck for Ares. And then we've got a deck for Cheetah. So let's just go through and look here. So you just have like different artwork on them. Oopsie. So you got like Aries, uh, brown face things. So these are all really cool looking. Um, then we've got Cersei. Overall, very nice artwork. Okay, so first up we have Diana, right? And uh, these are pretty cool looking. Um, they, they already have that kind of bronzed finish to them. They have a little wash on them, which brings out their details. Um, like you could paint these, but I don't know. I kind of like the way they look. So this is uh, Diana. Then we've got, uh, this looks like it's gonna be Mala with her two blades. Again, these are these are pretty detailed little minis. Yeah. All right, next up we have Artemis with her big axe and her long flowing ponytail. Okay, cool. Um, next up, I'm gonna assume this is Nubia. I am not super uh, savvy with all of the Amazons, but I'm looking at the cards on the side here, and this looks like it's going to be Nubia. So it's kind of cool they did that that bronze finish on them to make them look kind of like you know statues. And last up we have Philippus. So. Overall, I'm actually really happy with these, and I don't think I don't think they're worth painting. I think this look, you know, it kind of reminds me of like um, the classic. Um, kind of reminds me of the classic uh, Clash of the Titans, where they are uh, playing with the, you know, the, the the mortals on the on the on the table. And they're just like little statues, but the gods are playing with them like they're like they're toys, moving them around the board. Okay. Um, yeah, we got some counters and stuff. Overall, uh, this is pretty cool looking game. Can't wait to get to the table. I think it kind of plays, you know, kind of pandemic like. But um, yeah, that's it. That's a Wonder Woman Challenge of the Amazons from Ravensburger Games. If you have any questions, let us know.